thank you everyone for watching out this video i hope you will learn something new today and this will be worth for you if you are preparing for an interview in a stock analyst position or for any security analyst position okay so stock analyst works in a security operation center and security operation center is a centralized and dedicated team responsible for managing and handling different cyber security threats either from inside or outside to prevent to protect company sensitive information from unauthorized access copied modified or deleted and sock analyst is a skilled professional works in a security operation center in 24 by 7 365 days to protect company resources from cyber security threats a skilled sock analyst knows the different domains like windows network web applications and different cyber security threats and their limitations sock analyst is responsible for monitoring and investigation of different cyber security threats triggered in the form of an alert or a notification by a security monitoring tool a company can have a different cyber security products to deal with different security threats for example to deal with malicious network packets a company can use an ids product ids stand for intrusion detection system it matches every packet passing through it with signatures in the in the ids and if any match is found it trigger notification with a specific threats found in the network packet but one important point ids just trigger notification of a threat matches in the network packet to block the network packets company use a different security products called as ips ips stand for intrusion prevention system it similarly works the same as an ids does it matches the signatures with the network packets and if any match is found it triggers a notification and block the network packet as well okay similarly a company can use email protection product to prevent the threats from the emails to prevent the loss of the data of sensitive data from the outside or inside the threats a company can also use a dlp products and proxy is a security products used by the company to control the users traffic in the internet they can control and can allow the users behavior on the internet for browsing any websites antivirus are used to protect the endpoint machines from malware files and similarly to increase the landscape of the protections to the end the endpoints company can use the adr adr as adr stand for endpoint detection and response some companies also use the sandboxing environment to run the suspected files suspected malware files in the internal infrastructure instead of uploading in the outside world to the outside world SOC analysts generally require an access to security product which is called as SIM. SIM is a monitoring tool uses in the security print center for the investigation for the analysis for triggering an alert for a SOC. SIM stand for security information event management. It managing the event generated by different security products or different devices across the network. it is not investigating each network packets it is not analyzing network packets it's just matching the rules with the device logs and triggering a notification for the sock analyst no sim does not block any network packet sim as i mentioned before is a log management device used to manage the logs from different devices across the network and now why we are using sim because sim is a considered as a centralized log management device in a company where they have 10000 different devices it's difficult for a person to check the different devices logs but through a sim they can proactively check and can investigates based on the triggered alerts from a one centralized console yes the rules on security products are different than the rules we have what we have in the sim the rules in security products they are investigating based they are checking the network packets checking the file behavior but in the sims we are creating further rules based on the gen logs generated by the different devices 
like a security product like IPS, IDS, Windows Server, Application Server, Linux Server, could be anything. Yes, definitely, because the alerts on the IPS is a notification on the IPS only. If we want that notification on the SIM also, we have to forward the log from the IPS first to the SIM and then we have to add a separate rule for the notification for our SOC analyst. It depends. Specifically, if we talk about general, a SIM engineer or SIM admission team is responsible for creating a rules or not only the rules, but they're also responsible for integration of different adult devices across the network in the SIM uh, and the log parsing for creating a rules for troubleshooting if any device stops sending logs. But also some companies allow the SOC analyst to add a new rules in the SIM. Depends on the customer requirement or the company's requirement. Okay, so consider SIM as a log management solution and integration is required to forward the logs from the devices to the SIM. So once the logs generated by a device will come to the SIM, then we can add rules. So integration is the phase when a SIM administration, SIM engineer forward the logs from a device to the SIM solution. For example, if we have a new device in the network, we have to first integrate these logs with the SIM, then only we can monitor the abnormal behavior uh, based on the device logs generated by it. And the last sim is a machine. And machine need to understand the different log format. So parsing is used in the sim solution as in a feature to help the sim to understand the logs format. For example, if I were your Linux machine generating different types of logs. So you will help the sim to understand the their the logs. Where is the source IP address? Where is the destination IP address? Where is the machine name? Where is the date and time? So when you do the parsing, sim understand the log format and the parse in different fields and formats. Okay, so SOC analyst is not actually responsible for doing the parsing issues. If you need to do parsing, a dedicated sim engineering team is responsible for doing the parsing. SOC analysts are not solely responsible, but they can do if they are capable and they have the authorized, they have the required permissions.